I have lots of brand new stories today, and my name is Santa. No! no. What's my name? Anne, right. Okay, so today I have lots of brand new stories, like I said. So I am going to start with open, shut them first, and then we'll read our first story. Ready? Close them up tight. Ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Feet them, crawl them. Feet them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in, in, in. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Very good, Johnny. Okay, are you guys ready for story number one? Brand new. I never read it to anybody else. You guys are the first ones I'm going to read this story to, and it's called Firefly Home. I think it's about a little firefly who gets lost. But we'll see. We can help him home maybe if he's lost, okay? There's no place like home. And this special place is home for fireflies. Did you ever see a firefly before? Look at how beautiful. Fireflies have a bright light inside them that shimmers and shines. But wait! One little firefly is missing. Here she is, all by herself. Her name is Florence. Can you say hello, Florence? Hi, Florence. Hi, Florence. Poor Florence looks very, very sad. Do you think she's lost? Let's see if we can help her find her way home. Shall we try to help her? Yeah. We'll help you, Florence. Where shall we start? Oh, look. There's a bright light peeping through the trees. What do you think? You think that's Florence's home? Oh, no. Could that be home? Let's turn the page and see. I'm trying. Oh, no, that's not home. It's just the bright light. It's the moon above the sparkling sea. What about those flashes of light over there? Do you think that could be home way over here? No. No, that's a lighthouse. Are you sure that's not home? I think it's a lighthouse. Let's see. Maybe it is. Let's see. <gasps> no, that's not home. It's just a lighthouse. How did you guys know? And it's shining out to the boats, bobbing on the water. Now Florence has spotted a long line of moving lights. What do you think that could be? You think that's Firefly's home? Could it be? Yeah. Maybe. What do you think it could be if it's not Firefly's home? She's looking for light. Okay. A train. Okay. You think it's a train? Because I see little lines. Let's see. <gasps> no, that's not home. It's just a train whizzing down the track. <gasps> but it's not Florence's home. But the train lights are so pretty. You know what Florence wants to do? She wants to follow them. Yeah. <laughs> you think? Say, fly faster, Florence, and flap your hands so she can really get home. Can you say, fly faster, Florence? Fly faster, Florence. I hope she listens to you. That was fast. She's moving very fast now. And look, where are we now? We're in the big city. And there are bright lights everywhere. But is it home? I don't think it's home. I don't think the big city is her home, right? Nope. 
This isn't where fireflies live. Do you think fireflies live there? No. That's where think... humans live. I know. <laughs> These lights are too bright. And where's Florence? She's lost again. Can you point to her? Can anybody see Florence? Yes. Do you see her? Yeah. Oh, there she is. Yes. Let's quickly turn the page to help her fly away. Let's make her fly. <gasps> That's better. This park is lovely and calm. But poor Florence still looks very, very sad. She really, really needs to find her way home. Shall we try to help her again? Yeah. Perhaps we need to make a wish. Do you think if we make a wish, we could get her home? Do you think so? All right, let's wish on a shooting star. There are lots of shooting stars here. Close your eyes and wish really, really, really hard that Florence will soon find her way home. Did you wish? Yeah. Okay. Wait! Are they really shooting stars? <laughs> no, they're not. I don't think that they are. <gasps> they weren't fly. They are what? Fireflies. They're fireflies. They will know the way home. I'm going to trace the bright firefly trails with my finger and say, Fly, Florence, fly. So we can help her follow them home. You think she'll be able to do it? Yeah. I think so. We're helping her, right? All the way home, your wish has come true. Florence is so happy to be home at last with all her firefly friends. Whisper, good night, Florence, and blow her a good night kiss. Good night, Florence. She loves all those kisses. What does that sound? And that's the end. Did we like that story? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! You guys did such a good job of helping Florence find her home. So are we going to give that a uh, thumbs up? Thumbs up. I think thumbs it was up. a thumbs up. I really do. I liked that story. Did you like it? Yes. And you guys yeah. made the best wish ever. I made the best wish ever. You did. That was a wonderful wish. Okay. So now we have a second brand new story called Toby is a Big Boy. How many of you are big brothers or big sisters? I, I, I know that you're big boys and big girls. But you have. Yeah, are you, so you're not a big brother? Are you a big. Anybody a big brother or a big sister? I'm a big sister. You're a big sister? I'm a big sister. All right, so this is called Toby is a Big Boy. All right, let's see how big Toby really is. You think he's really a big boy? He looks kind of little to me. All right, there he is. Take a look at Toby. Toby knew that he was getting bigger, and he thought, I might be a big boy now. Do you think he's a big boy now? He's riding his, no. his bicycle. He could be a big boy. No. He could pour his own milk. That's a big boy, right? Yeah. He could read his own bedtime stories. Yeah. Is that a big boy? Yeah. yeah. He could even reach the snacks way up there that Mama said was just for Mamas. In fact, he could do most things all by himself. Being a big boy, thought Toby, was so exciting. <coughs> Isn't it fun to be big? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. He was also bigger than his little sister, Iris. Can you say hi to Iris? Hi. Look at how little Iris is. She's teeny tiny, huh? Iris was very, very small. And because Iris was so small, Mama was very busy with Iris all the time. Sometimes it felt like Toby had to do everything all by himself. Even the hard things he had to do all by himself. When Toby had to do up his buttons, Mama was too busy with Iris to help. I'm just putting Iris's hat on, Toby, she said. 
But you're my big boy. You can do things all by yourself. But Toby couldn't, and his coat was crooked all day. Look at his coat. Did he button it crooked? A little bit. That's okay, though. He buttoned it, right? When Toby had to put on his rain boots, Mama was still too busy with Iris to help. I'm just putting Iris in her stroller, Toby, she said. But you're my big boy. You can do things all by yourself. But Toby couldn't, and his rain boots didn't match all day long. Oh, he has two different boots on. And it was very, very hard to go party all by himself. It was really hard. Toby began to wonder if being a big boy wasn't so exciting after all. He called for Mama. Mama! 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 Pants and toilet paper are too hard for me, Toby said. I can't do everything all by myself. Toby, you are such a big boy and you can do a lot of things all by yourself, said Mama. But I can always help you. Just as Toby began to feel better, Iris started to cry and Mama had to go. Aww. Toby was mad. I will show Mama what I can do all by myself, he thought. He packed a suitcase and then, when everything was ready, he set off all by himself. Oh, where did he go? Toby opened the door to the backyard all by himself. He climbed down the steps all by himself. And then he sat on his swing all by himself. Toby was soon hungry and cold, and Toby didn't feel like being a big boy anymore. Being a big boy wasn't exciting, and it wasn't fun. But just at that moment, Toby said, Mama, there you are. Why did you walk off like that, Mama said. I don't want to be a big boy, sniffed Toby. I want to be a baby like Iris. Oh, Toby, said Mama, Iris can't do all the exciting things you can do. But however big you are, and even when you're all grown up, <coughs> you will always be my baby. <coughs> always, said Toby. Yes, said Mama, always. And that's the end. Did you like that story? Thumbs up or thumbs down? So would you rather be big or little? Little. Little. Okay. Okay. I'm going to let you guess what I'm going to do. I'm not going to tell you what I have. Money. Right. Okay. What happened to the ducks? I hope I have five. The ducks. I still have the ducks. I like the monkeys. Okay. You guys, you're going to have to count for me because I don't know if I have five. Ready? One, two, three, five. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, we have them. We, we never lose them, do we? Because we have. All right, you ready? Make a bed with one hand. And take your five little monkeys and jump. make them jump on the bed. Ready? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and he bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, What? No more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. 
Wan fell off, fairly bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many do we have? Count them up. One, two, three hundred. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many do we have left? Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Well, how many do we have left? One. One. Oh no, ready? One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and he bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, What? No, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Very oh, up. Good thing we saw him jump off. He jumped off my lap now. Okay, who's ready for I Spy? This is I Spy with my little eye. So I'm going to see if you guys can tell me when to start my finger on certain things. Are you ready? Yeah. Look at that. Pretty pictures? Yeah. All right, let's see. Yeah. I spy. Who can spy a moon? Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Okay, I spy a rocket. I'll come over here. I spy, I'll come to you, a rocket. I There's a rocket. I no, that I know. All right, let's turn the page. I didn't see it. You just tell me if you see it. How's that? I spy an umbrella. Can anybody spy an umbrella? Yeah. All right, we found it. How about, can you spy a red beach blanket? Can anybody see a red beach blanket? Yeah. All right. And how about a sandcastle? Yes. You do? Two How many sandcastles are there? Two. Okay. How about do you spy any penguins? Yeah. Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six penguins at the beach. All right. Let's try this page. Ooh, I spy some yellow ducks. Right there. Can you count them? One, two, three, four. Four yellow ducks. Let's see. I can spy a cow. Right there. Do you see a cow? Yeah. Right there. And let's see. Can you spy six apples? Yeah. Where are the apples? Right there. One, two, three, four. Uh, Good job. You guys spy everything. How about a blue bunny? Can anybody blue see a blue bunny? Oh, I thought I was going to fool you. I didn't think you saw that blue bunny. Oh, there's two of them. There's two? <gasps> two blue bunnies. Oh, now we're in the big, big city. Does anybody spy an ambulance? Under the bridge. What about a fire engine? How about do you see a green car? You see it? You guys, they're so good at finding things. How about a plane, an airplane in the sky? Do you see it? What color are the airplanes? Red, green, green, and red. And blue. Yeah. Oh, I see a helicopter. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. What color is it? There's two helicopters. Blue and purple. Well, yeah. Where's the second one? I don't see it. <gasps> I didn't even see that one. Right there. 
So a blue one and a purple. You guys are really, really good. All right, I spy. I see three beehives. You see them? And I see some scary bees. How many bees are they? I don't even want to look. You can see two. A one, two, three, four, five. Five bees. Let's see. I spy. Oh, look, they're in the jungle this time. I spy two peacocks. Do you see two peacocks? Yeah. You see them? Oh, I see them. Do you see? I bet you can't see a pink monkey. Yeah. Where's, where's the other one? A purple monkey. A pink and a purple monkey? Did you ever see a pink or a purple monkey? What about, do you see one tiger? All right, and one, and one turtle. I don't think you'll find one turtle. You did find him. The bats? Okay. How many bats do you see? Two. No? I see three bats. Do you see three bats? Yeah. You do? I'm sure you want two. One, two, three. And let's see what else. Three flies and two hippos. Do you see two hippos? Yeah. What color are they? Yeah, right. And I think that that could be it. I spy, oh, look at all the, I spy a bunch of penguins. Do you? What about, do you spy one polar bear? What else do you spy? A whale. A whale? How about, does anybody spy any clouds? Where's the jellyfish? I see it. Is there an octopus there too? Oh, yeah, right there. What else? A whale? Do you see a whale? Whoa, the whale is the biggest thing on the page. Where? Oh, a walrus and a seal? All right. You guys found everything. I remember, I see some birds. Some birds too? Where? Oh, seagulls. Yep, I see them. All right. That's enough of spying. All right. Our last story is called The Peculiar Pig. I love this story, and I hope you love it as much as me. And it's brand new. So, you ready? There was a different sort of piglet in the pig pen one spring morning. <coughs> Do you see anything different there? Yeah, the spot one. The spot one? Okay, we'll see. But Mama Pig didn't care. She loved all her piglets all the same. To each, to her, each one was special. The other piglets were bigger and stronger and often pushed the little piglet aside. But she was always willing to wait her turn. What a nice little piglet she is. No, she's a dog. The day came when Mama Pig gave each piglet their name. She named them Freckles. Can you say hi to Freckles? Hi, Freckles. Pinky. Hi, Pinky. Hi, Pinky. Hi, Prudence. Hi, Prudence. Hi, Patch. Hi, Scrappy. Hi, Scrappy. Hi, Rolly. Hi, Rolly. And my shining little one, Penny. <laughs> Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. Do you like Penny? I like Penny. I like Penny. Yeah. She's, look at how happy Penny is. But I don't need the piglets girl. grew bigger every day. And Penny grew, too. Penny grew longer. She sure is peculiar looking, Scrappy told Freckles. Penny didn't know why she was different, but Mama Pig told her, it doesn't matter, Penny. I love all my piglets the same. As she grew, 
Penny started to sound different, too. Oh, woof, 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 woof. Penny, you have a funny oink, Rex said. And it's so loud, complained Patch. But Penny liked all the sounds she could make. She practiced her oinks, growls, and barks with Mama Pig while her sisters and brothers all played in the mud. That's what pigs like to do. All the piglets became good diggers. Prudence watched Penny and she told her, proper pigs use their snouts to dig. But my paws just work better, said Penny. Scrappy said, oh, how peculiar that is. One day, the piglets were having fun racing around the farm. Wow, Penny sure is quick, said Roly. Even with those short little legs, Piggy, Pig, Pinky giggled. See how fast she can run faster than her brothers and sisters? Who's faster? Penny is the fastest. Mm -hmm. Then something stopped all of them in their tracks. It was a scary, hissing creature. What was it? It's a snake. All of a sudden, a fearsome sound came from deep inside Penny. Her sharp growl sent the creature slithering away. Wow! Wow! said the piglets. Thank you, Penny. Then they tried to bark just like Penny, but it came out like snuff, grink, grink. Penny laughed and said, now those are some peculiar growls. Then they all agreed that peculiar was perfect. And everyone was glad there was a different sort of piglet in the family. And that's the end. That's a dog. Thumbs up. All right, was it a dog or was it a piglet? That's a dog. That was a dog. Very but they love, but they love Penny all the same, right? That's okay if you're a different part of the family. That's right. That's okay if you are different. See how helpful Penny was? She saved all her brothers and sisters from the snake. Okay, we're gonna sing a song. So I'd like you to turn around to the camera. Turn around and face Erica. And what did you want to sing first? Frosty the Snowman. Are you ready? Everybody know the words? Yeah. Okay, ready? <laughs> Frosty the Snowman was a happy, happy song With a corn cloud pipe and a button nose And was made out of coal Frosty the Snowman was a lot of bad